Can you tell us first question, was racism something you ever came across growing up? No, it wasn't. I think obviously um, I was brought up in a very different environment than uh, than what we are now. Uh, back in Spain, that was never never an issue, and, and that's something that I was never aware of until I came uh, a little bit uh, into the UK game in back in '95. If it was maybe a young person suffering from racism, what advice do you think you would give them? Yeah, I think racism is a very very different situation. I do I do feel that it should be taken lightly. I don't think anybody or nobody should suffer racism and you should make it very clear to the people that they are in charge in whatever uh, organization you are in whichever team or whichever group you are making the people that they are in charge aware and, and be just confident on on doing that because it's, it's, it's wrong behavior just anyone trying to uh, probably use that term as a very strong term but sometimes there are people that they don't know what they're doing with their behavior and I think they need to be educated and probably that would be the first step to do it by highlighting any sort of comment or anything that you suffered personally making the people aware and they should deal with it straight away I don't think it's an issue to take lightly at all. If somebody said to you that they had received racism but they'd learned to accept it and they didn't want to make a fuss about it what would you say to them? Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be happy with that sort of um, uh, just to to accept something that is so wrong. I don't think. Um, I think it should it should be part of our values as individuals. As individuals, you need to be able to respect others, and you need to be able to be happy with your life. Obviously, coming to accept something that is so wrong, I don't think is 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 acceptable, and we shouldn't. We shouldn't allow any youngster to be going through a, a situation like that. So my method, message would be very clear, stand up um, against it. Uh, sometimes, as I say, uh, people are, it's lack of education, the ones that they are um, doing that to others. So they need to be told and, and, and that's an issue that it needs to be um, just clearly, it needs to be uh, affected with it. Some people are too afraid to report racism. What advice would you have for those people? No, not to be afraid at all. I think the support from um, everyone is to, to tackle that and, and make, um, make a safe environment for everyone. Nobody should suffer racism and, and that's something that we all agree with. So as an individual, sometimes you can feel that you're fighting against the world, but it's not, it's not the case. You support it and, and, and it's a behavior that we shouldn't accept. And that's something that as, as a young man or as an individual or, or as a person that you're suffering racism, you should uh, make sure that you make the people that they are uh, in charge aware and, and deal with the situation. Because something that uh, I think we've made a massive, massive uh, forward progress over the years, but it's still something that is a zero tolerance and, and it's, it's, it's important that everyone is aware of that. Do you think the football provides a good example of the value of people from different backgrounds working together? Absolutely. I think every, every dressing room will be a clear example of that. I think as a, as a football team you need to rely on every individual. When you've got individuals from different backgrounds, different nations, you bring different ways of uh, just to, to, to make in the team what the team is. Uh, sometimes it could be the talent that you bring into it, others could be the way you, you face uh, the pressure moments, it could be the, the way you face adversity. And I think that, that, uh, that uh, open mind on becoming a team with uh, the little uh, additions what every individual brings, is richer when you've got different backgrounds, when you've got different nationalities. And I think now in the Barclays Premier League, every dressing room is a clear example of that. So it's a, it's a fascinating way of finding a team within uh, very much uh, different, different individuals. As a manager, have you ever had to deal with a situation where one of your players has been racially abused? If so, what did you do? And if not, what would you do if that, if that were to happen? No, I've never, I've never been in a situation um, that that happened, um, and, and probably, obviously, um, I think it's important to make sure from the first day that the, the, there are certain values that you expect on a daily, uh, daily routine, a daily work, and I think the respect has always been enormous between the teammates and, and everyone re representing the football club. I think the the issues that you see sometimes is when the crowd 
are uh, showing some sort of behavior towards certain individuals. I have never experienced that, but it's something that I would never tolerate and is a wrong behavior. And as I said, that should be highlighted for the authorities to deal with it. What do you think leads people to, to act in a racist way or to use racist language? I don't know. I think it's, uh, it's lack of education or n not being aware of, of what behavior they're choosing to, to take. Um, it's, it's something that I'm sure deep down uh, every person's got a, a real strong values of the way they are and, and I don't think racism is something that anyone should choose to use. Uh, sometimes it's in the environment that you are probably people get certain behavior that they don't see as hurtful or how wrong it, it can be perceived by someone. And I want to believe that that's probably the, the biggest reason why people could use that sort of behavior is more lack of education, lack of understanding that uh, what they're doing. And if you could give one piece of advice to somebody who has used racist language or acted in a racist way, what piece of advice would you give? Well, that is a, um, a real a real shameful way of, of behaving and that is important to understand the others and if you want to be if you want to be a, a happy person and a successful person those are some strong values that you should have as a human being and try to find out a bit more what what the what those comments or that behavior could bring into someone that is receiving it I think that's that's something that is very much important sometimes uh, people do things without thinking and without thinking too much about the person at the receiving end. But clearly racism is probably one of those uh, situations where they are completely wrong and it could be very, very damaging and hurtful. And, and that's something for someone that has used it before to be aware and, and make, make amends quickly. Do you believe that football has a role to play in helping to tackle racism? Yes, I think, I think football is... Uh, like any other sport, I think is a, a great vehicle to educate people and educate youngsters. So that's that's important. I think football, the way uh, the sport is now in a world level, is probably one of the biggest sports. And and you share a lot of emotions, you share a lot of dreams, and I think that's a perfect perfect way to to teach lessons and, and especially for the younger generation. Football could be the perfect vehicle to understand what's right from wrong and, and clearly racism should be um, one of the issues that it should be it should never be given uh, any sort of uh, window and, and clearly be a zero tolerance in any way of working. Would you say that coming to a different country um, and working and living in a different country has made you a different person or a better person? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I encourage any youngster uh, to travel and and to uh, open your mind and obviously uh, life is full of different ways of working, different ways to understand different situations and I think the more you travel, the more you learn other cultures, you've got different possibilities and the thing is down to you then to pick what you would be the way of working if you want or the way of, of wanting to live your life and traveling and meeting different cultures allow you to do that so it makes you a little bit more of a relaxed person with uh, understanding that you can do things in different ways and there's not everything in life is not black or, or, or white there are many different uh, medium solutions and and I encourage any any young person to be able to travel and, and experiment before you, you just really settle as a person and and you want to have your family I think uh, it makes you a, a more understanding person which allows you to be more respectful to the others but being very clear in what you want to be do you think within the UK as a society, do you think we've made progress with regards to racism? I want to believe uh, that that's the case. Um, obviously, I've never seen racism as a problem uh, firsthand in any of the, of, the, of the dressing rooms that I've been or any walk of life. So obviously, for me, it's difficult to, to, to have a, uh, an experience where uh, it could be certain of, of, of racism, racism being a problem. But obviously, um, um, I see people being more aware and understanding that what it could be seen as a, as a simple comment can be very hurtful. And I think we've made progress with making people aware and educating people around the world. I think you're still looking at certain countries that they don't see it that way. And I think it's, it's a, long, uh, a long 
standing battle that I think we all need to take together. But I do feel that we've made progress in that respect in the in the UK, especially in the Premier League. I think the the, the multicultural way of 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 building teams now. Um, you want to be more understanding of each other, and you want to accept everyone for for what they bring into into the team. And I think that's that's made huge progress in in every every single cultural issue. Just when you say there about players, different needs and different cultures, do you have? You must have had a lot of different um, players underneath you working, whether you know whether from different countries or different religions or what mm -hmm. have you. Have you? Um, how's your experiences of, of managing different players with different needs? For you? Yeah, I think I think that's the biggest. Uh, I think it's the biggest um, probably difference between <coughs> the Premier League and, and the other leagues. I think Championship, League One, League Two, they are very much um, uh, a one one way of thinking in the dressing room. I think in the Premier League, if you got a lot of cultures and and, and a, a bit of diverse. Uh, nationalities uh, becomes very very different and I think that's the key of, of being able to to build a successful team is to understand every individual for what they are and try to understand the culture that they've been brought to. I had that in abundance in many in many dressing rooms sometimes we had up to 22 different nationalities in a dressing room and you can imagine that if you don't understand how the players are going to react um, um, after a big defeat is going to affect you to 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 keep hold of a of a team mentality, and that was probably the fascinating aspect of, of managing in the Premier League really early, and it's something that I always encourage young managers to find out about different cultures and different footballing uh, educations for players to to understand them how they they react in in such a big emotional game. Brilliant. Thank you, Gary. Pleasure, Paul. Sácale tarjeta roja al racismo.